Hi, I'm Charles Sable, curator of the Raw Nerve Exhibit at the Norman Rockwell Museum, which runs until October 26, 2008. I'd like to talk with you a little bit about who Steve Brodner was and show you some examples of his work. Steve Brodner was a graduate of the Cooper Union Art School in New York City in the mid-1970s, and he cut his teeth in the late 70s in political illustration. By the late 1980s, he'd become the master of political illustration in America, and today, I would argue that he's probably the best, if one of the best, if not the best, political illustrators working. Steve Brodner describes himself as an art journalist, and by that he means that he solicits commissions from various major magazines to go out and write stories and to illustrate those stories on various political subjects. Um, and the first part of the exhibit really details what is art journalism, what does Steve do? And it's quite interesting to see how he documents his subjects and the empathy that he has for them as well. And with that, I'd like to take you through and show you some examples. One of the most interesting and humorous of his art journalism series, and indeed they're all series, at least four or five images, is a piece that he did for Texas Monthly in 2006. It's called Austin Powers, of course a wonderful pun on the movie of the same name, where he looks at Texas politics. This piece here is the frontispiece of the article, um, where you have the Texas State Capitol and the dome literally exploding with all the caricatures and characters involved in Texas politics. Within the article itself, he did two scenes. One of the Texas House, which is on the top over here, and the bottom is the State Senate. And my favorite part of this image is this rabid right wing in the lower right-hand corner, uh, Texas talk show host, who is also a state legislator, getting mesmerized by liberal icon, as Brodner describes him, Walter Cronkite. The other great ironies that Brodner talks about in this series are the people in the Capitol Rotunda. Um, who are saluting the dome of the Texas Capitol with their cell phones. Sort of a high tech, as he calls it, like a cult. Another image from this series details African, African American children playing on the monument to the Confederacy outside the uh, state capitol. The point is, Brodner's always about these ironies and caricatures and having fun with images. Better example of that even than that we can see in this image are the series he did on the Democratic and Republican political conventions from 1988. This is an image of the Republicans in uh, New Orleans in 1988, nominating George Bush the first. As you can see, he's doing these figures as caricatures, all united to elect their new president. By contrast, he goes as a lone figure in uh, Atlanta in 1988, at the right, where he's, of course, a protester at the Democratic Convention stating the obvious, as Brodner says, God is a Republican. What I find most interesting that he does in his art journalism is to combine reportage with caricature with humor. Popular culture references are prevalent throughout all of Brodner's work and especially show so in the art journalism. 